Okay, HCG family, this is Tiffany, HCG housewife. It's um, Sunday, November the 20th, and I've already done my um, vlog update for today, but I wanted to come back and do a separate video on some of the products I'm using and maybe get some feedback on that. Um, or maybe somebody can can see something that they might could use all of, all of it, whatever. Okay, so... I tend to ramble, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. For, for skin care, I use... Oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to go get it. I forgot to bring it. Okay, get a nice shot of my unmade bed there. <laughs> okay, for skin care body lotion, I use this baby... Um, Johnson's Baby Lotion. And I like the bedtime. It has a little bit of lavender in it. It smells very nice. Um, it worked wonders. It makes my hands feel so soft and the smell is just it's just so nice especially after a after a nice shower um, for Cleaning my face. I Found that my beloved ponds has mineral oil in it, which is okay to use right mineral oil Okay, so um, I also have the ponds cloth cloths I didn't say that right. The little wet white cloth things that Pons puts out. I have those as well. And I'm very happy that this is okay because I have tons of this from using coupons. When they go on sale, I stock up because I love Pons. And also, um, this Neutrogena cloths are good. They're very good for um, make eye makeup removal if you're going to use makeup. And they, I, I don't see the ingredients on them. Okay, anyway, I saw another blog that these were okay, so it's just another option. And you to try these out, you can get these in the travel section of, like, Target and use a coupon on them if there's one available. And I got these for free. And I got a couple of um, little pouches of these so I could test them out. I've never used them. There's only seven, so, I'm you know, I don't wear makeup a lot. Unless I'm going out of the house, really. <laughs> well, unless I'm going to do more than grocery shopping or something. Um, so I, don't, it, I won't go through them very fast. But the Pond's wipes are good as well. The normal makeup, eye makeup remover I use that I'm sure a lot of people use is um, the oily kind. And since we can't use oils, it's good to find an alternative. And even the Pond's cream here is good at removing eye makeup. So I'm sure a lot of you know. For my, um, like I said, I don't use a lot of makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup unless I'm going, you know, out to dinner or family gatherings, things like that. But um, when I when I do, I'm going. What I this is really dirty. <laughs> it's I need to get a new one. It's um, got dirty in my makeup bag, but it's the Chanel. And it is Precision, the Precision line, Hydra Max plus the tint. And it's in French, so I, it's been a while since I've had a French class, so I'm not going to try to say that. But it says, well, it says somewhere. Oh, on the back, on the, I read it. Oh, on the back it says that it's oil-free. And what's great about this is it is um, the Hydra Max, and it's with the tint. So you're going to get a, a good moisturizer Plus, have a little tint, you know, and then you put, if you put your powder on, you know, to kind of make it look better. But it's got, um, just, you know, a little hint. I'll put some on my finger so you can see. But I love this stuff. It, it's pricier than what you would get at, like, CVS or Walgreens. But, it, you know, this has lasted me a long time. And I hate just wasting a little bit. But, <laughs> um, put it on my face. <laughs> And it's got SPF 15 in it, and so that's good if you're out in the sun. I love this. It makes my face feel just so soft. Another thing by Chanel that I've used, and um, this is the the night the night cream for your face, but I've used it during the day too. And it's the Rectifiance Precision. It, it's another one of the Precision lines by Chanel, and it. You know, like like I said before, the Chanel's a little more pricey, but you know, it lasts a while, and it's very it's a very good product. I've always loved using Chanel. Um, I don't know what other products they have that might be good. I'm going to go to Neiman's next week, maybe not next week, because it'll be a little 
we might be crowded. Well, I may go to Neiman's next week and ask the um, lady at the cosmetic counter to help me out with some oil-free products and see see what I can find. Um, but I highly recommend the Chanel Pre the Precision line, especially it's it makes your face feel so good, and the smell makes me. I don't know, the smell makes me think of when I was on my honeymoon for some reason. It smells nothing like Hawaii, but it's, I guess because I used it a lot. That's when I started using the, this one. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that's all for the skin care. For hair care, I'm not doing anything on protocol, really, because I'm using my dandruff shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> but it smells good. It's got a little mint in it, and I know we're not supposed to use menthol stuff, but I don't want to be flaky either. Um... And for the, I use my, you know, I wear gloves, and for the conditioner, I, I just do the ends, and I use the, um, just the same stuff. I'm using the kind that came with my color-treated stuff. And then I use some split-end treatment as well, and I think I showed that on another vlog. And I, like I said, I use, I use gloves for everything. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then I do like, I read, I think I read it, I read it somewhere where when you're doing your conditioner, you don't put it on your scalp, you just do the ends, and then you what you rinse it out with your head upside down. And I've got very long hair, so if that, if that conditioner and, and split end stuff is making it to my scalp and my skin, you know, good for it. It's got a long way to go. I think it's going to be quite tired to use up all my HCG by the time it gets there. But, um, that's about it for my, for my hair care. I was wondering though, I haven't been using hairsprays or mousses or any of my favorite products on my hair. And, um, which is fine. I can pull it back. I don't, I don't go into work every day or have to look beautiful every day. But I'm wondering, is, are things like that okay? Is it okay if I use um, mousses and hairsprays? I love my Aquanet when I love big hair. I mean, I'm a Dallas girl, so I, you know, I love my big hair. And I have to have some good Aquanet or some hairspray to, to create those looks. So I'm wondering if, if that stuff is okay. Mousse and hairspray and gel, volumizers, I like all that stuff. Is that okay? I don't know if that's okay. And um, shaving. What to use? I, I'm not good, I, I'm not good at just shaving with water because, like I said before, my, I have very dry skin. Um, I have psoriasis, so shaving really creates problems for me anyway. And what I've been using before HCG is this um, skin to mint. And I looked on the back at the ingredients, and it has mineral oil in it, so I don't know if that's okay. I mean, that would be okay, but down, way down in the ingredients, it has fruit oil and olive oil, and it's got sorbitol in it. Why? Isn't that an artificial sweetener? I remember learning on Kimkins that all of the sweeteners with ital at the end were not good, and I'm wondering why this has to have sweet sweetener, an artificial sweetener in it. Hmm, that makes me wonder. So then, I have a bunch of this with coupons as well. I looked at the gel. And so this is the cream, and this is the gel. And the gel has sunflower seed oil in it, and sorbitol again, and olive oil, so in the fruit oil. I, it doesn't have mineral oil. So I think this is definitely a no-no, no-no. But this, I'm wondering, since mineral oil is the more prominent, the, the more prominent ingredient, is that okay? Or even though the others are so far down in the ingredient list, I don't shave my legs often because I don't really need to, and especially with the weather getting cooler, I can hold off. But if I wanted to shave my legs once a week, would that be okay? I don't know. So we're, I'm wondering about how everybody else does that. Okay, my deodorant, I'm using my regular stuff. It's a stick, um, secret stick that smells like coconut. I love that. It smells so good. And then I have some secret clinical, but it's more creamier, so I'm not going to use that. Um, and then I use a body spray, but I put it only on my clothes, just for a little boost in smell. 
Now, a lot of um, things I'm, I'm starting to use again, every time I get on these health kicks or wanting to be healthier, I start taking more vitamins. And um, one thing I have been taking, though, is a prenatal vitamin. And I'm taking that because my husband and I are hoping, hoping to have a baby. And um, the nurse, last time I went to the doctors, told me that I should start taking it. And I was taking it anyway because I heard that it was good for hair and nails. And I love my hair, and I love my nails. These are my, I've always wore fake nails, but the, for the last two years I haven't, and my nails have gotten so healthy, and they're kind of long on their own. So don't need the fake nails if you don't, if you don't want to use them and want healthier nails. Get off of those. I was wearing fake nails for, since I was 16, or maybe younger. But um, anyway, this has helped wonders with my hair and nails. My hair grows really good, and it's, and it's pretty healthy. Um, but anyway, this has a lot of good vitamins in it. Vitamin A, C, D, you know, all the good stuff. Some folic acid. So this is the one of this is one of the main vitamins I use. And then I also um, use iron because the doctor told me that I was anemic a couple of times. So I just I try to take this. I don't take it every day. You know, it's one of those things that. If I start feeling yuck, I'll take it. And I like the slow-release ones. And um, some B12. I also have B12 in, in my HCG shot, uh, my HCG drop. So um, melatonin, It. I've always taken this because it helps sleep. And if, if any of these are something that's going to prevent my success, just let me know. That's why I'm showing them because I want someone to let me know if they are no-nos. But I, I don't think vitamins should be no-nos. I found something also interesting when I was looking through my vitamin box. I have this vitamin box over here I want to show you. It's full of vitamins, but I don't always take them. But I was going through it looking for some of the some good things to take and I'm I found a hair and nail vitamin that I now I can't find it. Did it roll off somewhere? Oh goodness, I had everything. Oh yeah, everything set up. This is, I got it just at Walmart, but it's one source, and it's good for hair, skin, and nails, and I've used this quite a bit before, and, and it works really well. And I didn't see, know it, but it has MSN in it, and that's something that Hebby Dobby has talked about on one of her vlogs, and I was going to go out and look for it. Could not find it anywhere, so I was going to look online or look at the vitamin shop. And when I say anywhere, I mean the drugstores, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, places like that. But um, this has, um, I'll get some more of this if it has enough. I wanted to tell you it had 100 milligrams. What is the recommended do dosage for MSM? That's one thing I wanted to really start taking. And then magnesium. Slow, and it's the same as this was a store brand, but it's the slow release. This is slow mag. Um, the iron comes in. Slow Fee, I think is what it's called, but this is the same brand, and it's um, Slow Mag, and it release, it's a slow release, and I think that's supposed to help from you getting your stomach upset, because I think that's something that can happen, but I, um, anyway, if, yeah, this is the iron, Slow Fee, <laughs> so anyway, that, um, that's about it, I know that a lot of people have mentioned vitamins on their on their vlogs and I wanted to go over a few that I was I either have added or I'm thinking about adding and um, definitely I wanted to know how much how much MSM we need so do I need to get another one or what if I, if I got another bottle of this would it be okay this is expired so I'm not going to use that but um, something I wanted to tell you also since we're talking about vitamins CVS this week in the CVS circular they have their vitamins that um, not their store brand vitamins are, are buy one, get one free. But the um, Sundown and the Nature's Bounty, that they're buy one, get one free. And if you spend $30, you get $5 back in extra care bucks to use on something else. And um, there's coupons all, all the time for both of these. You can either find them online or you can get them in your inserts or, you know, there's all... You, just look for coupons. If you go to hip2save.com, um, go to her coupon database, and she'll tell you, you know, it tells you there where to find these coupons. But I got my melatonin 
last time they had this sale and I had a $2 coupon with it. I got it down to 89 cents. And I don't really know how I did it, got it down that far, but